So guys, welcome back to another video and with Weekend League starting today, I thought I'd show you guys the team that I'll be using over the next few days. It's not a creative team, but I found it to be pretty effective. Anyway, before we get into my team, I want to hear from you guys. So, in the comments below, let me know what team you'll be running with for the first Weekend League of this FIFA. And if you don't want to type it out, if you can't be bothered, send me a picture on Twitter, at KieranSFF. Also, in the comments, let me know where you are aiming to finish in Foot Champs. What rank? Me, personally, I'm just hoping to end with, you know, just like a positive record, so... I'd take 21 wins and 19 losses right now, and I know that sounds terrible and it's pretty poor, but I just haven't had much chance to play on land this FIFA due to spending most of my time actually playing squad battles because I've been enjoying that. So uh, I think I've only played about 30 or 40 online games, so I'm not expecting a great weekend, but hey, I'm going to try my best and hopefully not get too stressed with it. Anywho, that's enough rambling I think, if you could leave a like on the video, that'd be awesome. Let's get in to my team. Right then, here is the back line of the team. We are going to start off in goal with 87 rated Handanovic, who I thought was brilliant. Now, I used him a few weeks ago at the capture event, and I thought he was really good there. So I've brought him in to be my main goalkeeper for the first weekend league. Now, when I'm doing my practice games, just getting used to his team, I did um, notice that he did have a few games where he was like, eh, maybe he should have saved that. But as a whole, he pulled off some absolutely incredible saves in other games and in general was a very solid goalkeeper. I haven't used Buffon yet, but I'm going to stick with Handanovic for now. At right back, we've got Karstorp, who's six foot, four star weak foot, good pace, good passing, good defending, good physical. As a whole, an absolutely brilliant card for a right back in my opinion. And I've got no complaints about him, especially the fact that he only cost me 1k. Very happy with him at right back. The first centre back is going to be Manoas. And um, yeah, why do you think I picked him? Yeah, Pierce. And also a very good defensive stat. The fact that he's 6 foot 2 and has low high work rates is a bonus. He's an absolutely brilliant centre back. And um, yeah, I've got no complaints about him to be honest. Apart from that one time that he was through on goal and because I had it on attacking. And as you can imagine with that 19 shooting. He didn't finish. So, uh, yeah, just don't play him up front and you'll have no issues with Manoas. Next to him is Juan Jesus, who, just like Manoas, is very pacey. Not as good defensively, however, physically very good. Six foot one, low high work rates, and left footed on the left side. If you don't know about me personally, I like to have a right footed centre back on the right side and a left footed centre back on the left side. Therefore, Juan Jesus and Manoas, very good combination in my opinion. And then finally, left back. Probably my favourite defender in this team, Jordan Lukaku. If you haven't used him yet, use him. I don't believe he costs 3k anymore. He might have gone down now. I bought him at the start. Jordan Lukaku is six foot something. He's really tall, really physical, good defensively, good, very good pace. He is a brilliant left back. And um, yeah, I was really happy with him. The defence as a whole is going to get a solid 8 out of 10. Moving into the midfield then, we have ourselves Jao Mario, Maxime Gonalons and Marco Parola. A pretty decent midfield if you ask me. We've also got De Rossi on the reserves that I sometimes switch for one of the two DMs just, just now and then because some of them get red cards because I don't know why, I just have a very aggressive tackling style so sometimes I need someone to um, come in and do a job. Anyway, Marco Parola, very solid card as you can see, very well rounded, 6 foot, high high work rates, 4 star weak foot and for 3k, I don't think that's bad at all. He actually costs a bit less than that, it's just because I've bought him in a CDM position but um was pretty happy with him in defence and in attack. Gonalons is always good for me in FIFA, I've always enjoyed him, good height, good work rates, very solid defensively, I do wish he was a bit quicker, but um, to be honest, he's, he's very freaking good, and if he gets a few informs this year, um, I'd really like that, because it'd give him that extra pace boost that I'd like, and as a whole, it would be an awesome defensive mid card. Jao Mario in the middle of the squad, medium high work rates, which is interesting, but look at his card. So well rounded, absolutely incredible. The only thing that's a negative about this card really is the fact that he doesn't have four star skill moves because that would make him one of the better midfielders in the game in my opinion. Yeah, I hold him to that high of a standards. He was awesome in this team. So that's the midfield. Let's look at the attack. And this is the bit that most of you will be looking forward to. Right then, on to the attacking trio. We have ourselves Alejandro Gomez, Ede and Mertens up top. Now I know a lot of you are going to be thinking, Kieran, why don't you just get Dybala? And the simple answer is, 
his price. I just didn't fancy playing 300 plus K for him, even though he is in sin. But anyway, let's talk about the players who are in the team. We have Adair, who in 19 games scored 8 goals and 3 assists. Now, I know that doesn't sound like the best record, but we're going to talk about why that is in a moment. And it is, of course, because of substitutes. Um, both wide cams, Adair and Gomez, I subbed off at half time or around the 60th minute for Human Song and Martial, so their records are not the best. However, they still made great impact in the minutes that they featured, and I really did like Alejandro Gomez. Adair was definitely, you know, like the worst of the three up top, but that's, to be honest, not like a huge negative because the three up top were very good, so yeah, there's that. Anyway, let's talk about Mertens because he was undoubtedly. Um, the best player in this team. I thought he was awesome, Mike. I don't think his record shows it enough, but he is so impactful. I do also have to mention that sometimes when I change the team around, I move Mertens to Cam, and I put like Martial or Son up front instead. But um, yeah, there's a lot of rotation that happened with this team. But still, 22 goals, 9 assists, that is quite the impact from Mr. Mertens, and I will be reviewing him at some point because he is awesome. Trust me, he costs a lot, but um, to be honest, I'm not feeling like I got ripped off at all because he scored some vital goals and some very, very good goals. So, player instructions and custom tactics. So, custom tactics-wise, 60 pace, 40 passing. Simple stuff, you know, it's nothing special. It's just, you know, what I normally go with. Player instruction-wise, though, I told the two DMs to stay back while attacking so they could, like, protect the defence and kind of anchor the team. And then the wide cams are told to stay forward and Mertens I told him to stay central and press the back line. So pretty much I had my team in two separate styles of play. Pretty much my whole defence just sat back defending which just left and allowed my four attackers to just, you know, go forth and attack. And Xiao Mario was pretty much back and forth but um, that front trio I was very happy with. So into the live games we go and up first we come up against a very nice looking French BPL-ish side. It's a very good team, it's a very expensive team, but it is us who strike first with Mertens in the 20th minute, or just after it, putting the ball in the back of the net. He absolutely loves them one-on-ones with the goalkeepers because he just finesses it around them with ease every time. And that's one thing I used a lot um, in this team. I used the threaded through ball, using my cams, threading the ball through to Mertens, who was normally on hand to put the ball in the back of the net. But then we commit a deadly sin in FIFA. We give our opponent space on the edge of the box, and when you do that this year, you're going to concede long shots. It's just a simple fact of FIFA 18. You're going to concede long shots if you don't close players down. However, moving on, Mertens, another through ball, gets on the end of it, and, you know, same outcome. He's clinical in them positions. I'm telling you now, he is brilliant, and he makes great runs, so he's an absolute joy to have up front. Nice bit of pass and play from us here. And Ed Air strikes across goal with a nice power shot, making it 3-1 just before half-time. Always nice to get a goal, either before or after the half-time whistle. And their 3-1 was very nice. So, uh, coming up to our mark now, Mertens tries a bit of skill, doesn't work first time, but we whip it into the back post and Xiao Mario is there to head it into the back of the net. There was an instant pause, so that's why we didn't get the replay. Moving on, we're coming to the end of the game now, but we are not finished. Mertens down the wing with a through ball once more. We're going to cut inside with him. Bakayoga is going to get turned and sadly he gets saved. However, Ed Air is on hand to finish up the game and we do end up winning five goals to one. Moving on to our second opponent of the video. Here is one of the games I played in the um, Daily Knockout Tournament and it's a pretty solid 4-3-2-1 side. And it's actually us who concede first because my defending is horrendous and this guy scored a pretty nice finesse in the second minute. Yeah, I'm, I don't know why I do have a terrible tendency to concede very early on. However, we reply very early on as well. Pretty much straight away, a few minutes later, the ball is in the back of the net. And who is it? It's Mertens. Of course it's Mertens. He scores plenty of goals for me. And uh, he'll score plenty of goals for you if you do indeed pick him up. However, we're undone with a through ball and a pretty, you know, an interesting shot. I was actually really annoyed to concede that. I couldn't tell whether it took a deflection or not, but... It was right in the corner, Handanovic couldn't get to it. Anyway, just after halftime, we're getting attacking now. We're getting aggressive. Gio Mario gets the ball into Edair. He turns his man and puts the ball in the back of the net. And like that, it's 2-2. Two, two. But um, there was more drama to come. There was more drama to come. As you can see, we're in the 85th minute. Um, he puts it into the middle, plays it to Costa. Costa with a nice play into Jesus. And then he gets to finesse that one. Unfortunately, 
did take a deflection off um, my player and thus ended up in the back of net. So as you can see here, we're not just on attacking anymore. We're bumping it up to ultra attacking and we are going for it. Hyunmin Song and Martial had been subbed on at this point. Mertens with a ball roll gets around this man and gives him space and the finesse is in the back of the net. And just like that, it's 3-3 free free and we are going to extra time. We are not giving up on this one. We're still on ultra attacking at this point. And we're pushing fat goal. It's the 106th minute. Son is through. He has a crack. It's saved. But Alejandro Gomez is on hand to put the ball in the back of the net. And I do have to say the super subs were vital in extra time. And if you're going to play uh, foot champs this year, I do advise having a strong bench. Because like I said, them subs can come in very handy. Anyway guys, that is the team I'll be using for the majority of this weekend league. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. And remember... To also comment what team you're using and your aims for the weekend so uh, yeah thanks for watching and if you come up against me take it easy on me because i'm not very good but apart from that guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one